T-Mill. Come out and play. Play it. Laugh. Changing the status quo one voice at a time through music, edutainment, children, and awareness. We're progressing and preserving the culture through real conversations with people who've had real success. Multicultural artists and musicians, models, entrepreneurs, innovators, and activists. This is Paradox East, and you are in tune with T-Mail. Powered by the MainlineConservatory.org. Thank you for listening to In Tune with Timo. Welcome everyone to another special episode of In Tune with T-Mill. I'm your host, T-Mill, live from the Rocket City. You will now be encouraged and entertained. Nothing will change until you change something. And we are here yet again to change the status quo with you. No matter where you at right now, it is a beautiful, beautiful day outside. I don't care if it's raining. I don't care if it's storming. If it's an earthquake, it's beautiful. All right? You might just have to close your eyes and imagine you're somewhere else. But right here in the Rocket City in the 256, it is a beautiful Sunday afternoon, uh, the beginning of the summertime. And man, I feel like barbecuing. I feel like hanging with some friends and family. So I called up some family and got them in the building today to talk about success and how you can succeed. Uh, we all have a lot of ideas. Uh, we can all be business owners. We can all be uh, kings and queens of our own universe. But there's a way to do it. And before in business, a lot of y'all are younger than I am. I'm going to just imagine that everybody's younger than I am. <laughs> and a lot of y'all are younger than I am and younger than we are. And we, 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 we have a lot of access to information now mm -hmm. to whereas 5, 10, 20 years ago, there wasn't a lot of information of how to succeed, how to start a business, how mm -hmm. to maintain a business. It's a lot of people that start a business. A lot of us start businesses mm -hmm. and unfortunately in three months, we out of business right. for the first year, right. um, and we don't have that backbone or that support of how to stay in business. I don't think anybody gets into business and say, you know what, I'm going to do this for three months and then I'm done. No, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Right. Even drug dealers don't be in the business for that long. Right. They at least got a year <laughs> that they're trying to do this thing, all right? So today, I wanted to bring in somebody. I wanted to bring in a professional because I don't know everything, and I need some answers because I want us to all succeed in our business whether we selling lemonade or tennis shoes or sneakers or whether we cutting grass or whether we whatever we're doing, uh, opening a business, a hair salon, a car wash, uh, especially a car wash. Shout out to yeah. the car washes because uh, it's uh, yeah, a little yeah. hot out there, you know. It's so too hot, bro. now you you definitely got to pull up at a car wash. Nobody want to stand outside in they in their front yard washing the car all day long yeah, at ninety degrees. <laughs> so I got Minister Fred Whitlow in the building. Uh, of of no more dirty the movement uh, the, the 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 brand and the family I like to think yeah. because you guys yeah. are, are a family so welcome to the show man welcome baby welcome appreciate yes, you always always glad to be hanging out with the honorable T meal yeah this <laughs> honorable a, there's only one honorable man that's T meal and that's this dude right here I appreciate it man I appreciate <laughs> it I try to stay in good company with people like yourself uh, we are here live at the Maitland Conservatory yeah. and we're talking about uh, success and how to succeed. And one of the ways I think is a lot of us business owners or ideas or people that's visionaries, we don't, ha we don't get out enough. Right. You know, we right. get behind the computer, we get on YouTube, we start looking up how to start a business. Right. And then we get lost. If you like me, I start to get overwhelmed because <laughs> there's a, a gazillion videos of how right. to start, how to succeed. But what we miss is the hand to hand right. meeting people, seeing people face to face, eye to eye, and being able to ask them questions. Not only that, but meeting people that are in your area that are going to be the people that you need to talk to Correct. when it comes time to start your business. And so you figured all this out. Right, right. And you started <laughs> getting all these people together to answer a lot of these questions, to connect people right. in the same place 
and to give people a platform Correct. to network and to start their business on any level, whether they're starting out with five thousand right. dollars or whether they're starting out with five hundred thousand or fifty dollars or fifty dollars. You know, some yeah. people take a dollar and make a dollar out of fifteen cent. So no matter what level, you've created a space and a place for them to do that, and that's going to be called the Good Success Conference. Correct. Coming up. So tell us about that and why you created this. Well, here's the thing, Tim. The reality is everybody wants to be successful. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to be that individual that they can say, I made it Mm -hmm. or I'm making it to be even more personal. Mm -hmm. But what happens is, and as a business owner, as you like I, Mm -hmm. when we start out these business, we have a lot of dreams, a lot of goals, a lot Mm -hmm. of aspirations. But at the end of the day, it's like, what about the small incremental things that are necessary to be mm-hmm. able to be successful. Mm-hmm. I know I've been doing Strictly Jesus for 27 years now. Mm-hmm. Wow. And that's a long time building a brand and a small business. Mm-hmm. And then, and as a result of the networking, yeah. which is what yeah. we're talking about, mm-hmm. uh, No More Dirty Incorporated became a reality mm. so that we can be able to share positive economic development mm-hmm. um, uh, the networking as it relates to meeting other people like yourself and mm-hmm. other people that do not do what you do. Right. Now, for the people that don't know, I want to ask a question, but I okay. also want to shout out everybody that's watching live. Uh, we're live on the Intune with T-Mail page. We're also live on the Minister Fred uh, page. So shout out to everybody that is tuning in no on this Sunday afternoon to hang out with us. I have a question All right. for the people that... Because sometimes there's words and there's uh, terms that get thrown around and that intimidate some people. Okay. So when they hear economic development, break that down for us because a lot of people may not know what that means or they want to know more in detail. All right. So basically, in layman's turn, every day the brother you just see you kicking it, playing ball with Mm -hmm. economic development is how do you build your business in a way that it not only brings funds to you or money to you and in your banking account, Mm -hmm. but how does it build for a successful community? Spread that money. Spread the money. Like if you look at African culture historically, Mm -hmm. if you had a tribe Mm -hmm. leader, then you had the tribe. They had an economic, they had a type of service product, Mm -hmm. whether that was agriculture, Mm -hmm. whether that was medical stuff, Mm -hmm. or whether that was just transportation. They had mules. Mm -hmm. And what they would do is they would say to the next tribe, listen, we will handle the transportation. You get us your corn, we'll ship it and drop ship it Mm -hmm. in kind of layman terms from one tribe to the next tribe, to the next country, to the next. And that's called economic development that's Mm -hmm. called transportation and business Mm -hmm. and so what we did is take those old school principles Mm -hmm. that we have had historically as a people Mm -hmm. and as a nation now in america Mm -hmm. being the number one economic guru for business if you come to america you're coming to america to make money yep you're coming to make and what happens a lot of foreigners come make the money send money back Mm -hmm. so they can build their economic base or their tribe. money yeah. tribe in their country. Shout out to Tribe Called Quest. There it is. So for real, that's, you already know. <laughs> yes, that's sir. That's, yes, sir. That's for real. And Minister Fred is hip-hop. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it also, twisted. Minister Fred is definitely <laughs> hip-hop, y'all. All right? So I don't know what y'all think. Where's T-Mill going with that? You know? Yeah. So, but for, for, for one, that you made a good point because when businesses come into the community, Correct. Uh, the ones that last, I think, are the ones that everyone can benefit from Correct. in some shape or form. And not only in the community, but your insurance. Correct. You know, so your Correct. local insurance. Correct. Guy, or you got to get windows Correct. replaced or Correct. the roof or whatever. So if you can go in your own community or in your own city and locally get those things done as opposed to calling an 800 number and getting right. some huge company that's right. going to charge you ridiculous amount of money. You can go to, I can call Minister Fred to get my roof in, or I can call T-Mill to get this. And so it, it everybody's able to eat, and everybody's right. able to feed their families. And right. then that, you know, then you go shopping to the mall, or That's you it. go get your car washed, and, <laughs> you know. So right. it just trickles down, like you said, exactly. in a tribe uh, uh, format. You right. Know? And the other thing is, too, if you do graphics and someone else does a uh, business proposal, mm-hmm. and then I do... Uh, promotions and productions for positive endeavors. If we all come together and I say, like for instance, just in case in point, this is what's happening next Sunday at the conference. T Mill is mm-hmm. going to handle the live streaming and all mm-hmm. that. Now I may know how to do that, but it doesn't make sense when I can pay this gentleman mm-hmm. 
who has got a small business just like I have a small business, mm-hmm. and you may have a small business that's, yep. that, that fits the mission, mm-hmm. which is how do we have good success? Yep. And so we're going to build business. We're going to build a better a better collaboration, mm-hmm. collaborative efforts between economic organizations mm-hmm. and between everyday people. Mm-hmm. And that's why, you know, Lord impressed me to do this because most mm-hmm. of the time when you do good success, com, it's $200 to get in for the yeah. day. It's $99 early bird special. Yeah. Then it's one fifty five on at the door. Yeah. And then yeah. you got to pay for your plates and your food separately. Yep. No, yep. no, no. What We're not doing that. Probably? This is going to cost twenty dollars for everything. Twenty dollars for everything. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I just fill my gas tank up. Right. That's for twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Wait, wait. Let, let's get. Let's get. Even, let's just take it. Keep it one hundred. Yeah. If you're gonna go get something to drink tonight. Yeah. Two, two, two or three cost. shots is gonna be twenty one dollars. Twenty one dollars. Absolutely. You wherever you go to eat is gonna be twenty dollars. You can go to well, look, Applebee's. Two right. for twenty. Yo, we, we ain't gonna name them. We just gonna name right. the place. Yeah. <laughs> You understand my point, right? Right. You already know. <laughs> but you know, yeah, you know uh, those those guys. You know, right. Those correct. 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 Um, but again, how much for you guys that are out there, everybody watching, or that person that you know, ask them or ask yourself, how much do you value your business? Correct. Is your business worth twenty dollars to learn and network and get to know people that are in your area that can help you succeed? Ask yourself, is that worth twenty dollars? Is it really worth it? Is it really worth it? And if it it's is. not, maybe you don't need to be there. Right. But if it is, if you think to yourself, where else can I go to 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 tell a lot of people about my business, to network? Because that's the mm-hmm. ultimate thing. Right. Everybody wants to tell everybody about their new idea Correct. and about their business. Where else can you go to meet? And I'm, I want him to also name some of the guests that he's invited. Uh, can you meet these people in a mm-hmm. setting? to where you can talk to them. And not just you see them out at the bank or you see them here and there in the right setting where you can approach them and have that conversation, that dialogue. And then where else can you go to to, to start sort of that brotherhood or that sisterhood, so to speak, on, all right, I know this person and I know that person. So who are some of the guests that are also going to be there? Well, I'm super excited because what we did was we looked at where we did a survey of what are the needs mm-hmm. for someone trying to start a business or has a business yeah. that's trying to grow their business mm-hmm. or a business that is failing and you're trying to find out what do I need to do personally mm-hmm. as a business organization mm-hmm. from the financial end? How do I connect with banks? How do I connect with these entities that can help me to grow my business? Mm-hmm. So here's who we have. I'm super excited. Yeah. What our, First of all, we're going to deal with how to find good success mm-hmm. through faith or whatever your belief system is mm-hmm. or is not. And if you believe in something, you got faith, whether you know it or not. Right. And even <laughs> if you don't claim to believe in something, you have a system by which you, you do what you do regularly. Yeah. It absolutely. is the process of building for a spiritual and a financial base. Yep. yep. So I have uh, my brother who is a bishop. He bishop uh, mm-hmm. Derek Whitlow. Okay. He, uh, he's a world archae- archaeologist. He's the only wow. African American mm-hmm. Christian or believing base mm-hmm. world archaeologist in the world. Wow. And he, we're going to talk about how do you take what you <laughs> wow. what you believe your belief yeah. system. Like I believe I can, I believe I can make it. How do you I take that concept yeah. that I believe I can fly yeah. and then fly? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. How do you do that? Yeah. Everybody believes a God. Everybody's praying to somebody or something, mm-hmm. and at the end of the day, they're like, "Man, I I do pray, but I'm not making it." Mm-hmm. There's a disconnect. So we're gonna deal with how do you use and how you incorporate your mm-hmm. faith system, and how do you find good success so that you can be successful mm-hmm. personally. Yep. And then you can deliver your message, your product, your service, or your goods. Yeah, yeah. Then our second presenter is going to be Bruce W. Martin. He's a very good friend of mine. Actually, yeah, we've yeah. done a lot. You know, Bruce, he's yeah. he's oh, very well, phenomenal. not phenomenal. Yeah. What Bruce is going to do is going to then help us to see how do we find six good success through investing in our own personal development. Mm-hmm. Investing and, in your personal right. development. Because like if you you're right. right there again, investing serious. in your personal development. By getting a book, going to a conference, investing in yourself. Yeah. And a lot of people don't do that, but go ahead. No, 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 that's perfect because, like, for instance, when I was first starting uh, the No More Dirty nonprofit, mm-hmm. Bruce Martin was one of those go to guys. He has a whole consulting yeah. and a coaching mm-hmm. on business 
personal, and practical. Because mm-hmm. it's one thing and to I say. I imagine he charges for that. Oh, he we charges going out to big time. Consulting and, and going out to these people to get help. But he's going to be here at this conference for how much? $20. $20. And it's not $20 an hour. It's $20 from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Mm. And he's going to have a booth there. Yeah. You'll be able to sit down with him. And if you come to the conference, when it's time to do your own personal individual business consulting, mm-hmm. then he'll be able to work that out for a much, much more reasonable price if, if you, that's something you want to do. Yeah. So we'll deal with how to make yourself personally invested mm-hmm. so that when I see, like when you see a T-Mill or a Minister Fred, you see value in just the person. Yeah. yeah. You don't see no half crock. Oh, yeah. uh, this dude fly by night. No, you know, if, if T Meal mm-hmm. got something to do with it and if Minister Fred has something to do with it, it's quality because yeah. they are personally invested. Yeah. So how are you investing? Mm-hmm. How are you and what makes me want to do business with you mm-hmm. on a personal and a business perspective? Right, right. That's heavy. Yeah. That's, That's why some important. people get the contracts and some people don't. Mm-hmm. It's more than just having a good product. It's about the individual. People have to believe in you before they purchase your sale. People buy people. you. That's it. You know what I mean? They don't buy the product. They buy you. Correct. You know, Correct. So yeah, absolutely. You understand what I'm saying? Absolutely. And then we're going to come back. Then we are blessed. I'm, when I say blessed, I'm just super excited. We have Councilman Devin Keith. Wow. Who's going to talk about now? Yeah. If you have a business, mm-hmm. how do you go from a startup, a small business, to incremental victories? What mm-hmm. I mean here is, I've got a business. Like I have, I have a nonprofit public charity. Mm-hmm. How do I get my nonprofit mm-hmm. engaged in government? Yeah, local yeah. grants. How yeah. do I get involved in community service efforts? Yeah. yeah. How do I lock myself in a situation where I'm like, man? Your nonprofit or your profit-based business is mm-hmm. completely different from everybody else. You know it, mm-hmm. but the government, local government, state government, federal they government, they don't know. Right. So then you don't have the opportunities that can possibly be yours. Mm. Listen out. Listen so if out. you're a nonprofit, you work with at-risk. If yeah. you're a nonprofit, you deal with special needs. If you're a nonprofit and you deal with video video and helping kids see something bigger than their scope. Or mm-hmm. like T-Mills, you have an organization that helps individuals come in the studio and learn how to do this. Or mm-hmm. Mario Maitland, Maitland Conservatory. Yeah, if absolutely. you can connect with the mm-hmm. YMCA, yeah. if you, how do you do that and still get the support yeah. of Rocket City, mm-hmm. of Washington, D.C., New York, the state, your capital? How do you get that going? Mm-hmm. And so he's going to deal with that. And then how community service works that combination. Mm-hmm. Some people say, well, I, I just can't get it. Well, what are you doing that the city sees your involvement? Are you involved in community service Do projects? They know you exist? Do they know you exist? Yeah. So that's the and other thing. I don't mean thing. because you showed up to the meeting three weeks ago. Right. Do they, or, or you showed up the night before. Correct. They got to see your track record. And they got to know it. who you are to enough to where they are familiar with you. Correct. And they uh, trust you. You begin to build trust because this is another step, I think, in building your business. Because these are people at this conference that you're going to meet and you're going to see them again. And if. People trust each other or they know I can trust this person. He's reliable. She's reliable. Uh, She's a woman or a man of his word. Correct. Um, I can trust them. Then they're more, I think, apt to doing business with you. Or to come to you to do business versus going to another big box store or a corporate company and whatnot. Uh, We can all go to a lot of these hardware stores. But the reason why we have mom and pop spots like CT Garvin Feed and Seed, or the Harvest Feed Mill, is because you can trust them. Right. Uh, they have your best interests at heart. So when you have mom and pop spots and nonprofits and locals, correct. Yeah. You can trust them. Right. So you see them, you begin to know them, you see them often, you can trust them. And again, you have an opportunity to sit down or at least be around the networking table. Mm-hmm. Uh, with these individuals that are hard to catch up with, that's the other thing. Yeah, they'll all be, be they'll okay. all be in one location <laughs> yeah. for six hours yeah. for twenty dollar um, registration. Yep, you're not gonna find that. I mean, I, I work for government. Yeah, and when they fly me somewhere to go do something for for my organization, quasi government, mm-hmm. the the conferences are four hundred and fifty dollars for a day. So to do this, and, and the Lord has just been good. Because yeah. I sat down and I said, listen, we need to do something for the everyday person that can never make one of these conferences. And I want you guys, again, I, wanna, I want everyone that's watching this, everyone that's listening, whether it's you or someone you know, 
reach out to them. Man, I heard you've been talking about making this business. You've been talking about starting this business. That's right. Get out to this event. Uh, and it's Sunday, next it's, Sunday. It's not this Sunday, but next Sunday. It's And here's what I love. It's at the Jackson Center. If you are mm-hmm. anywhere familiar with Huntsville, Jackson Center, which is located at 6001 Moquin Drive. I know mm-hmm. everybody's like, where is that? That is smack in the middle of Research Park. It's next door to Alpha Hudson, mm-hmm. the the billion-dollar industry that does pharmaceutical and research. So yeah. we, the Lord has blessed us not to be in a, a little small location, yeah. but we're going to be in a facility mm-hmm. that the astronauts do their research, yeah. that the conferences, that the mayor, all of those guys come. When they do their big conferences, mm-hmm. that's where they go. Mm-hmm. So we have the privilege and then we're blessed to be able to host it at the Jackson Center. Has plenty of parking lot. And here's what the other reason why we were very intentional yeah. is because if you see success, yeah. If you hear success, if you begin to network with success, it will help you align your business for good success. I'm telling you. Absolutely. And think about this, you know, for for all the business owners, this is feeding Uh, your business. Correct. You know, this is sowing the seeds, planting the seeds in your business. And I think how often do we feed our business? Correct. Now, we may work our business. Correct. We'll work it to death. You know, we'll work it. We'll... We'll tell people about it. We'll work it. We'll tell people about it. But how how often do we feed it information? Correct. Correct. How often do we, you know, massage it with support or, you know, tools and resources? How often do we do we nurture it and, and let it sort of rest a little bit but Correct. engage with other things? So think about that as, think about your business as a child, as your child or as a small child or someone that you're caring for. And then how often do you feed that right. child? You might send That's that right. child to school. You might send that child to go cut the grass. I right. have mine always outside helping me wash the car, cleaning up the house. My wife always asks me, why don't I clean up? I don't clean up because I got five kids. All right. five of them can <laughs> clean up the house. I've got enough hands and feet to That's help it. clean up. That's but how it. often do we sit down and then take that same child and say, okay, now let's learn something. Correct. You know, let's 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 instead of working you to death, instead of telling you what to do, right. instead of having you play That's all right. day long, That's right. let me invest in you real right. quick right. for a couple hours for twenty bucks. Let me put some of this game to you. Let me put some of this wow. that education. Is, and here's you. the other thing too about reason why I know that the Lord allowed us to have that facility, get to be able to get that facility to host it, mm-hmm. is because our goal was we're gonna seat for five hundred people. Five hundred people. Yeah. 500 people listen to me because here's the thing. If you look at the average f- conference that goes on in our cities mm-hmm. in the, around the United States, it's very difficult to not only get into a, a conference because mm-hmm. it's expensive, but then to be able to have an actual one-on-one conversation. And like if we're sitting, I'm sitting at a table on table 47 mm-hmm. and you look over there and there's somebody who does government contracts and engineering. And then you see somebody else is from uh, like, for instance, I'll tell you, mm-hmm. we're going to have Redstone federal credit union there. Yeah, so if Redstone. you, if you want to find out about banking, how to do business loans and this kind of stuff, they will there be there mm-hmm. and they'll have literature on the end at their booth so that you can have that conversation. Yeah. Absolutely. You know what I mean? That is that is incredible. And so we have a variety of professionals mm-hmm. and businesses that are working. Mm-hmm. We have uh, actually, it's been amazing. We have one of our vendors is called Hetty Sue, and they yeah. do go, they do they. It's a company that does mm-hmm. desserts, but the desserts yeah. are desserts that diabetics can eat. Wow. And it's sweet. I'm talking about. I had some, and I thought I was eating just a regular cake, and it was it was sugar free. Wow. Um, it was good for you can eat it if you didn't have any health issues. Yeah, if you yeah. were a diabetic or if you were into bodybuilding, working out, yeah. it is food that they can eat that you can build for protein mm-hmm. and you get the same amount of what you need and it tastes good. Wow. And what's the name of this? It's called Hetty Sue. They're Hedy gonna Sue. have a booth, they're gonna have a, a, be one of the exhibitors there. Now uh, who are who are some of the other businesses that are investing in themselves? to be here or to help support this because uh, you guys have collaborated. Um, you mentioned uh, Redstone Federal Credit Union. Right. Um, any, but some of the businesses or vendors that are investing in themselves, because, again, you could be home as a business and not investing right. enough to say, well, why do I have to 
pay this money to support this thing or be at this conference or do this. Or right. Do, but that is, again, investing. It's training. Feeding your business. It. Training. It's workshop training. Getting it out there. Yeah. So what are some of the businesses that then, are investing in themselves? The, oh, man, let me tell you. we are, There are some of the business. Big Brothers Big Sisters has now invested in it. Yeah. We have, um, There's you may have seen or heard of Kiki 360 Design. She does I've all of the yeah, the. Yeah. The um, web and social media stuff. She does. Ooh, you look at all the stuff. When you together. go to my website, you see all that good stuff. Invested in it. Yeah. Uh, Oakwood University, the LEAP program. If you didn't finish school, you can yeah. go to school at night and get your money during the day. Wow. What I tell oh, you, wow. people are really. Then we have. This was really crazy. I met just recently, and she'll be on my show today on No More Dirty Radio Show today yeah. at six. Uh, her she has a a product. It's mm-hmm. a toothpaste. Mm-hmm. It's an African a lady for a lady. She's African American, small business, yeah. all organic, all all every all healthy, tastes good, yeah. and it makes your breath and your teeth cleaner and whiter. It's called from ebony to ivory. Woo! Ebony to, to ivory. ivory. Yo, <laughs> like 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 I'm talking about. To have these kind of things involved. Wow. And then All we have ups. big ups to, I'm going to say big ups to Speaking Out News. Yeah. They've been running it, and they're a big part of one of our big uh, um, business sponsors for it. Um, Shout as far out to Speaking as, Out. Yeah, man. Been Mr. Smothers and his whole family. For a long, love, long time. man. A long time. You know, as long, you know? as long as I've been in Huntsville, uh, they've been in the community and still going at it strong. Right. So if these are businesses. These are some of the businesses and those organizations like that do the marketing, the advertising. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have WJOU. We have uh, yeah. We Up. I mean, I mean, we got Speaking Out News. I mean, it's just constantly. And our goal really is to help people see that you can really be very successful mm-hmm. with your business, no matter what size it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is serious. Yeah. And, and again, I want everyone listening. I'm going to keep telling y'all because I know y'all heard us the first two That's times, it. but y'all didn't do it. <laughs> Call the person, text the person. Matter of fact, go by there and pick them up and bring them right. to the conference. You, we all know someone that's, that's right. starting a business right. or has a business or wants to start a business. Wouldn't that be? Now, check this out. Check this out. Father's Day is coming up. Come on now. How many men do you know that starting their business or you see something in them that they don't see in themselves and you can, as a Father's Day gift, pick that brother or pick that young man, and whether he's 14 or 48. That's, it. That's right. Pick That's him right. up, bring him to the conference, say, look, for Father's Day, we're going to get your business started. That's it. We're going to sit you in front of the important people, the That's people it. that can support you, and get your business started for Father's Day. And then or if it's a woman, bring a woman. Yeah. Bring yeah. a child. Yeah. Bring somebody. Matter of fact, if you have a business, bring your child. That's you know it. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But teach that young man That's and that right. young woman how to start your business. Not only are you getting education, but then you're also showing them how to support and how to do their business. And they see, right. oh, man, my pops took me to this conference, and right. that's yeah. how he got his business started, so I'm going to do it, you know? Right. And then I'll also say this, too. We are uh, we will have um, some of the youth organizations, some mm-hmm. of the young people that will be sponsored that will be coming from uh, like the Boys and Girls Club, yeah. Big Brothers, Big Sisters, those kind of different agencies. So I want to encourage you that if you have a teenager, mm-hmm. and as I'm saying, as young as 13, like when we work, I work with young people um, in at-risk communities, mm-hmm. and we have all kind of business incubators we're doing during the summer. Um, I, I encourage everyone listening and watching that you would um, bring your team, 13 and up. Mm-hmm. I mean, 12, you can do 12. If the kid is on it, He's yeah. on it. But our goal is to bring your – It's a, it can be a family affair, a business. You know, you have business mm-hmm. families, families that have small businesses. Yeah. And if nothing else, you just want them to see success. Yes. Now, absolutely. let me tell you, not only, not only do you get all of this great stuff – oh, I'm sorry. And then also there's the component of entrepreneurship. Yes. So we're going to do – the. how do you define good success through diversity leadership? That means – I don't look like you. You don't look like me. You have a different type of business, a different type of service from me. Yep. But how do we work together mm-hmm. so that we can build the economics or the money within our own business, the community, mm-hmm. and then turn around and be create leaders out of it? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So you're getting all of this for 20, but that's not even it. That's not, it's more than that. <laughs> then we got a concert included in it as well. Yo, we got un, we have unknown lyric coming. Wow. We have wow. coming, uh, you know, they're already dynamic yeah. duo. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're going to be getting it in. Get it in. 
but they're not the only one. Yeah. Then I have coming from Wisconsin. Yeah. We have she's an urban like like almost like a urban urban jazz R and B. We call it R and P rhythm and praise. Um, and she's a vocalist. Right? Yeah. And she's coming from Wisconsin. Her name is Natalie Harris. Wow. And then we're going to finale as a part of that is from my homeboy from New Orleans who yeah. had got the number one uh, artist yeah. coming out of New Orleans, Louisiana. He's a DJ. He has the number one show in New Orleans. His name is wow. Prince Lyle Henderson. So we got New Orleans jazz gospel. We got wow. urban jazz. We got a little hip hop and flavor. And then DJ Sam Smite on the oh, ones yeah. and twos. Now, so we get, you got hip hop. Oh, you, know son. Sam you already know. If y'all watch the show. If you went to the birthday bash, the No More Dirty Birthday Bash at 3208. Y'all yeah. know how Sam Smite get down. He have y'all in there. And I'm telling you, the inspirational DJ. That's it. Shout out to Sam Smite, man. Shout you out, know? baby. That's so my So not homie. only are they coming to a All of that, but they get they conference business. and concert. Concert and concert. And then we're going to give you some we're going to give you some light refreshments. So you can get some gourmet cookies and yeah. some coffee and some tea and yeah. you know what I'm saying, fruit tray. You know, we're going to hook up with something like that too cuz we want you dollars. we don't want to give you big dinner cuz then you go to sleep on us. So right. <laughs> and that's like when I do my conference with my job, yeah. they don't give you all that. You got to go through the conference. And and the good thing about it is with every presenter there will be a and a So you can mm. ask questions right there at the end of, at the end of the presentation. And let, me, and let me suggest something. Uh for those of y'all that are going to the con- all y'all watching are going. Y'all don't know it yet, but everybody's <laughs> going. Everybody watching is going. Everybody listening is going. Write down some questions right now. Yes. yes. You know, this this week, yes. today, because maybe y'all don't maybe y'all don't get like me, but I always get to a conference or right. I get to a meeting and when I leave I think of all these great questions right. I should have asked. I'm like, man, I should have asked this. So just as a tidbit, as a little piece of advice, as a little game, yeah. write down a couple questions yeah. uh, that you want to ask, you know, the, your, your councilman, uh, some questions that you want to ask these panelists, uh, right. some questions that you want to ask right. Minister Fred and, and about your business. So whatever questions you have about your business um, or questions that you just want to ask people in general, Think about, you know, three yeah. good ones, yeah. three really yeah. good, solid questions that are just burning the back of your head like a bad perm. Figure <laughs> out those questions, write them down, and then bring them to the conference, you know, yeah. and bring something to take notes, man. Right. Keep right. your phone in your pocket. Bring something to write notes on yeah, and, 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 and engage, you know, keep your, I know everybody want to Snapchat it and everybody want to Instagram it, but keep it in your pocket and right. engage and listen and let that information Soak, you know, yeah. soak your yeah. soul a little yeah. bit, you know. And then when you leave and you start to take pictures, you can do the selfies and everybody, you know, do right. your pictures and stuff. And um, and I do want to say this: we were intentional. Another reason why we're intentional is because at the end of the day, we want to see you successful. Yep, yep. It's it's not enough for T. Mill to have his own and Minister Fred to have his own, but imagine five hundred people at the mm-hmm. conference having their own and saying we're going to work together to make this city especially our communities that are lacking a better place. Let me let me put this out there. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it all the way funky real quick. I, I, want, I want to keep y'all all, all day. That's right. That's right. But I want to keep this all the way 100 with everybody. Some of us have businesses that have a great vision and that have a great, um, just, just a great product or a great service. But not all of our employees see that same vision Correct. or see that same integrity. Some of us need to bring our employees with us as a business. If right. you got a small business, you got three to five employees and let me, or let me, 20 employees, yeah. you need to bring them because what you may have in mind for your business and the way that they conduct it and follow through with it could be hurting your business. Exactly. And a lot exactly. of times, man, customer service or... Yes follow-ups and we don't because and it's not that the kids or the person or whoever works there doesn't know to be that way but it's just not instilled in them to 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 carry that service through right so i may say man yeah i work for minister fred but you know he ain't gonna mind if i come in here and you know i got all my 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 right that's That's right and all that I, i don't know that if he doesn't rely that but and then if they don't see how serious you are with your business they may not believe in the vision as much as you do. So That's if it. you take your employees, That's if I got it. three to five employees, right. look, look, all y'all come. I'm, and you I'm know going what? to pay for it. You know? I'm, I'm glad you said that because that's I was going to close, kind of go to wrap up with that. Yeah. But the tables seat six people. Mm. So you can have bring $120 mm. 
Mm-hmm. That's 20 times 6. Mm-hmm. And you can have a table designated, set aside wow. just for your company. We wow. have about five or seven companies that that's yeah. what they're doing. They're actually, in fact, I have two. I got a call today. Two owners, are, they can't make because they have to be out of town for business. Mm-hmm. But they're going to pay for all of their employees to be there. You know, if I worked for you and you yes, invited me I would, to come to something I would. and you covered that, you know how much that would That's make me value. more in your business? Correct. You know how much harder I would work for you? Yes. You know what I mean? If you invited me to something like that and I was able to have a concert, get some game and get some knowledge and get some education, and like, man, he really laid this out for me. This yes. is dope. Yeah. I'm going to show up to work on time now. <laughs> right. And here's the thing. You come come as you are. We're mm-hmm. not asking you to be business dressed casual. If you would like to be kid business casual, you want to dress, mm-hmm. just wear what you what you're comfortable. Mm-hmm. You know, just make sure it's, it's covering everything because we don't want to distract yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't know. Yeah, that, you know, not, yeah. Not come as you are early in the morning. Right, you right. You know, commando. <laughs> yeah. You know, just yeah. That. yeah, yeah. We want to do that. You know, shirt and tie and shoes, like they say, you can't get in the big round shirt and tie. I'm commando. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go to the website. Um, and, and here's the thing. What we did was, because we know that um, this is a week out and some people are just calling. We're getting calls now like, hey, um, um, where do I get tickets? How do I get yeah. you can actually You can actually go online to our website, which mm-hmm. is nomoredirty.org. That's www.nomoredirty.org. You can go on there and click it. And then you can click on the Good Success or GS Conference. You'll see it as a menu tab. And then there's a big banner. You can click on it that way. Mm-hmm. You can pay at the door, cash um, or um, company card, company check, you know, whatever the case may be. And y'all write that down. Write it down. No more dirty dot no org. More dirty dot org. Write that down. And, here, and then you can also do it online. You can register online at the website. Here's the other thing that we wanted to do is make this really work mm-hmm. for everybody is – what we're doing as well is we're going to have a few giveaways there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then after the even after the conference, we're going to do a follow-up, um, virtue follow-up for some of the speakers that mm-hmm. um, that you will – and you'll be hearing more about that at the conference. And here's the beauty of your contribution. Your $20 contribution is tax deductible. <laughs> because we are a nonprofit. Our go- the, the mission of No More Dirty is to – Transform lives for the better in communities, starting with this area, uh, Madison yep. County, and abroad. So when you spend money as a business owner for your six people, your 20 employees, mm-hmm. your 50 employees, your 100, you will get a receipt. Mm-hmm. And so this will be a business write-off, wow. amen, but it will be a business investment into your business and your sewing into your employees, and we need y'all's help, all right? Yeah. I want y'all to contact your folks in, in Tennessee, yeah. uh, Atlanta, the surrounding areas, because here's the other thing. It's nothing but a drive, it's you not. know, to get out to these different places. I tell a lot of artists that are here, a lot of business owners that are here, mm-hmm. Atlanta, Tennessee, Memphis, Birmingham, Florida, Birmingham, Mobile, they're right down the road. They are. And so when we see conferences like this or we see them and we think, Man, you know, this is, how valuable is your business? Yes. Is your business worth putting some gas in the car, driving a couple hours, an hour, two hours, three, four, paying for a conference, and then coming back, getting all that information? What else did you do that day? So when you miss it that Sunday, I want to ask y'all, well, what did you do for your business today? Right. You know, well, this person went to a conference they met this person, they met this business owner, they met this councilman, and they invested in their business, got all of this, and they had a concert and was able to party and have a good time, get a little bit of refreshments, yeah. and did all this. What did you do for your business today? And here's the thing. And then you can write the complete write registration off, off write and off. you can, at the end of the year, this physical business year, it will be a contribution to a nonprofit. Because that's what we are. And we're a public charity because our goal is to make sure that the public is well and the well-being of the public is better. You can't write off them drinks at the club tonight. Yeah, you can't do that. that So save that that $20 that you're going to spend on shots just for next Sunday. Give me one Sunday out of your life Mm -hmm. and I promise you will change your life. I'm telling you, it changed my life. Somebody invested in me to go to these little conferences and I couldn't even afford it, folks. Mm -hmm. It was just people saying, man, just come to my office. I'll work with you. And now... Three years later, we're doing this kind of stuff 
and helping people do what someone did for me three years later. And, and we're, we are federally, federally funded because we can do this to help others now. Absolutely. Minister Fred, I thank you, and I thank everyone that is putting this together. Let me give them the telephone number. Absolutely. I yeah, forgot yeah. to do this because some people might say, well, I couldn't remember. The telephone number is area code 256-698-9749. Um, and you can get with T-Mail. He'll give you the information. It'll be on his, yep. on his Facebook page. It's on our, or just go to No More Dirty Radio Show or No More Dirty Inc. It'll, everything social media, No More Dirty Inc., or No More Dirty Radio Show. And we can get you that information. We're excited. We're looking forward to you. And at the end of the day, when God says to me, Minister Fred, what did you do for those, the least of you, those that were trying to come up? I'm going to say, Lord, these are they that you gave me. Mm-hmm. And I use my time, my money, my effort, my life, and my influence for the betterment of others. Because wow. you have to love God with your whole heart, mind, and soul, mm-hmm. and your neighbors as you love yourself. If you don't know how to love yourself, Come to the conference, and we'll show you how to do that. Wow. It's the Good Success Conference next Sunday. That is June the 11th. June the 11th. At the Jackson Center, next door to Alpha Hudson in Research Park, 6001 Moquin Drive, 35806. Ten, from 2 p.m. To, to 8 p.m., and the registration is just a $20 donation, which is tax deductible. And Tim, I thank you, man. I appreciate, appreciate this guy's you. doing work. He's going to be in the building. We all going to be in the building. Yep. We are counting on seeing you in the building. Absolutely, man. You know Make mean? sure y'all come out and support, all right? Call someone, text someone, bring them to the conference, or let them know that it's going on so they can invest in their right. business. Don't let a whole year go, go by yeah, please you don't. didn't spend $20 tax deductible to invest in your business. You know right? what I You know what I thought about, too? Think about it. Mm-hmm. If... If someone didn't introduce me to Tim, I wouldn't be on a T-Mail show. If someone didn't say, Fred, you should take this to hip-hop culture, Mm -hmm. even though you do Christian hip-hop and share this good Mm -hmm. news with people, we wouldn't be on the number one hip-hop show, Mm -hmm. We Up, number one show doing clean and Christian hip-hop every Sunday from 6 to 7 p.m. Just someone said, man, I encourage you. So I encourage you to come. I'm not saying all your boys, I don't care whether they dope boys or they hope boys. I don't care if they, they got a club. I wherever you are, you got a car wash. Each, come just glean the information yep. and then take it back and talk to your homies and your girlfriends because we're going to change it. And imagine all of us everyday persons, mm-hmm. 500 people mm-hmm. in a facility that normally does not hold people or entertain people like us. Yep. That's another level of good success. That's Be a how part we of that. change the, the status that's quo, it. y'all. From the inside right? out. That's how we change the status quo. We can complain all day that's long. That's right. But until we get out and do something about it, yes. shut up. So you know right. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, he said that. I just said that. He said that. But it's his show. He can say that. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I want, uh, again, I want to thank you and everyone uh, for putting yeah, this together. Man. Thank all you. All the panelists, every all the guests, yeah. um, all the artists that are putting this together. All of the, everyone that helped in any capacity yes. putting this together because we need it. All right. Uh, you guys, this is another episode of In Tune with T Mill. <laughs> we are live at the Maitland Conservatory. Visit the Maitland yes, Tell them that T Mill sent you. Go to Facebook. Or if you're in the area, if you're in Tennessee, you're just driving through, whatever, stop by. The Maitland Conservatory, uh, they'll teach you piano lessons. Yeah. They'll teach you dance lessons. They'll teach you mixing. They'll teach you music production, how to score films. They have five-year-olds in here learning how yeah. to score films, man, five-year-olds. And they'll be at the conference. He'll have an yep. exhibit. Oh, you know what? Let me just say this, too. If you're interested in getting a booth or if you're interested in getting yeah. your – you, if you have, say, I can't – you can get a booth. Uh, the donation is two fifty, two hundred fifty dollars for that. But if not, you can say, "Hey, I have a business, a small business." You can be, get your business card in there, in the in the souvenir booklet, and on our online directory, which mm-hmm. will will be created as a result of this conference. And it's just a hundred dollar donation, tax deductible. Tax again, deductible. all of this stuff Keyword. is right <laughs> off. So whatever you invest, you get it back. Wow, that's what I'm talking about, man. So, yeah. again, another episode. I appreciate everybody tuning in. Uh, everybody on In Tune with T-Mail, make sure you guys Salute. go to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you like, your favorite social media, and go to In Tune with T-Mail. Subscribe, holler at us on iTunes or YouTube. Wherever you at, that's where we at, right? All right? And uh, shout out to uh, Sunshine Enterprises, uh, produced this show. 
uh, Sunshine Enterprises, and we are powered by the Maitland Conservatory, the MaitlandConservatory.org, all right? So, again, on behalf of myself and my guest, Minister Fred, yes. we out. Peace.